Hey guys, my name is Vince. I'm an American English teacher. And in this lesson, we're going to learn the best and most common ways to greet people, how to respond to these greetings, and how to say goodbye in American English. This is the first part of my How to Sound Like a Native English Speaker video series. Americans almost always speak informally with friends and family. Many of us are even informal with strangers and authority figures. So the first step to sounding like a native English speaker is knowing how to greet people, how to respond to greetings, and how to say goodbye in the most natural way. First, let's take a look at the most common formal greetings and some possible responses. Formal greetings and responses. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? How have you been? I've been well. How do you do? I'm just fine. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Now let's see the most common formal goodbyes. Formal goodbyes. Goodbye. Take care. Have a nice day. Have a good night. Farewell. Until next time. Good night. Now let's look at the most common informal greetings, responses, and goodbyes. This is the way that most native English speakers from the United States talk to one another. Informal greetings and responses. Hi. Hey. Hey you. Hey man. Hey brother. Hey brother. Hey bro. Hey cuz. Hey dude. Hey guy. Howdy. Howdy is used in some parts of the southern United States. It has a very rural or country sound. It reminds me of how cowboys talk. Hi there. Hey there. Good to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you too. Great to see you. You too. It's been a while. Tell me about it. This means I agree. Long time no see. These greetings express that you haven't seen a person for a long time. Morning. Afternoon. Evening. These are informal ways of saying good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. The following questions are informal ways of asking how are you? How's it going? Not bad. How about you? How's it hanging? All is good. How is everything? Pretty good. How's everything going? Can't complain. How are things? The usual. How are you? Surviving. How's life? Couldn't be better. How you been? I'm hanging in there. You been good? Yeah, for sure. And you? How you feeling? I'm okay. The following questions are a bit different from the previous ones and usually aren't answered the same way. These start with the question word, what? Which indicates that it's inappropriate to respond with good, not bad, okay, or any other common response to the question, how are you? Pay attention to the responses to the following questions. What's up? What's up can also be pronounced What's up? Not much. What's up with you? What's going on? Not a lot. What's going on with you? What's happening? Just keeping busy. What have you been up to? Nothing much. You? What's new? Same old. Or you can say, same old, same old. These mean nothing new. 
Informal goodbyes. Bye. See you. See you later. See you soon. See you next time. See you around. Talk to you later. Take it easy. Catch you later. Be safe. Be easy. Have a good one. Have a good one means have a good day. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. It's common for the phrase, see you later, alligator, to be completed with the response, after a while, crocodile. Later, alligator. Toodles. Toodles is a silly and effeminate way to say goodbye, but it can also be used sarcastically or mockingly. Sayonara. Sayonara is Japanese for goodbye and can be used when you won't see the person for a long time. Night. Night is informal for good night. So long. The following expressions mean I've got to leave. I gotta take off. I gotta head out. Now let's see some super informal greetings, responses, and goodbyes. These are generally used by young people and often make use of slang and ungrammatical structures. Super informal greetings and responses. Yo. Yo. Hey. Hey yo. Holla. What up? Chillin. Chillin means hanging out, relaxing, doing nothing special. Sup. Nothing. Sup is a condensed version of what's up. Sup, B. B means brother. Just kicking it. Kicking it has the same meaning as chillin'. Sub G. G means gangster. The huge. The huge means the usual. You alright? Or you can say, you aight? Aight is an informal way of saying alright. Yeah, just coolin'. Coolin' has the same meaning as chillin'. You good? For sure. Fo sho means for sure or certainly. How you living? I'm I. All of the following questions starting with what have the meaning what's up? What's good? Shit. In this context, shit means nothing. What's really good? Chillaxin. Chillaxin is a combination of chillin' and relaxing. What's crackin'? Straight season. Straight means entirely or absolutely. And season means chillin' or relaxin'. But it can also mean being stylish. What's poppin'? Nada. Nada is Spanish for nothing. What's cookin'? Jack shit. Jack shit means nothing. What's the dilly? Same shit, different day. This means the same thing every day. Look what the cat dragged in. This is a funny way of saying, look who's arrived, because it compares the person to a dead animal that a cat has brought inside the house. Anyone who has a cat will know that sometimes cats do this. Super informal goodbyes. Later. Later on. Late. Peace. Peace out. Deuces. One. One love. The following expressions mean I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm outy. I'm peacing. I'm bouncing. The following expressions mean I've got to leave. I gotta bounce. I gotta roll. I gotta jet. I gotta be out. Keep it real. This means stay cool. Smell you later. 
This is a humorous way of saying, see you later, implying that the person smells bad. Catch you on the flip side. See you when I see you. This means you'll see the person at an unspecified time in the future. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. This is a sarcastic way of saying see you later. This is usually said as a joke. It's common to combine greeting words like hello, hi, or hey with expressions and questions like long time no see, how are you, what's up, or how's it going. For example, hello, how are you, hi, how's it going, hey, long time no see, what's up, yo, what's good. Practice making combinations and responding to these greetings with expressions from the same category. Make sure you don't mix up the expressions from the formal and informal categories and use the appropriate greeting and goodbye for the situation and context. Now, sometimes it isn't crystal clear or totally obvious whether you should use formal or informal language. In my opinion, it's best to match the formality or informality of the person you're speaking to, regardless of the situation. For example, it's commonly taught that it's best to speak formally with strangers because it's more polite. However, if a stranger approaches you with an informal greeting, it would be more appropriate to respond informally, regardless of the situation or context. Likewise, if a person approaches you with formal language, it would be better to respond formally, even if you're in an informal context. This will most likely make the person you're speaking to feel more comfortable. Thanks for watching guys. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more English lessons. See you next time.